Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Tech Tip where we'll be exploring Lighten's aftermarket dry belt systems. Now I know you may be saying to yourself, what more do I need to know about dry belt components? Well, I'm here to take you on a deep dive into what goes into designing a dry belt system and how each component plays an important role in delivering proper performance and low noise vibration and harshness, otherwise known as NVH, and how you can benefit your customers by eliminating missteps when it comes to dry belt system service. So stay tuned, I promise this will be informative. As you may or may not know, Lightens is a trusted OEM tier one provider and has been providing dry belt system components to both the OEMs and aftermarket for over 40 years. Since its founding, Lightens has been dedicated to innovation, starting with the world's first automatic belt tensioner for the 4.9 liter V8 Ford Mustang and Mercury Capri. This pioneering technology set the foundations for Lightens role as a leader in automotive dry belt components. Since then, they have become synonymous with the quality and performance the automotive industry demands. Lighten's Aftermarket is a supplier of over 80 of the world's leading vehicle manufacturers. While it may seem simple, the Serpentine dry belt system features some very cool engineering needed to balance efficiency, durability, and NVH reduction. From tensioners, idlers, and overrunning alternator pulleys, OAPs, overrunning alternator decouplers, OADs, these all play a critical role in providing long belt life, efficiency, and low NVH. As a dry belt system experiences load changes, such as when the AC compressor engages, or when the alternator is switched on and off, the belt drive system can generate a ton of unwanted vibration and noise which can also induce abnormal system wear. Today, vehicle manufacturers are looking for any efficiency gains that can lead to better mileage, and this is why we now see computer-controlled alternators and generators used on today's vehicles. It is extremely important for service personnel to possess the proper knowledge on these systems so that when service is required, the proper steps are taken to ensure that the vehicle is returned to the same operational condition the OEM intended. Now for the deep dive. We'll start with the OAP. This is a one-way clutch device that is designed to allow the alternator to freewheel when the engine decelerates or when there are rapid speed fluctuations in the crankshaft. During engine deceleration, the alternator's rotational inertia can cause belt slip. OAPs prevent this slip by allowing the alternator to coast freely. Now for a little history. If you're like me, we've witnessed quite a few changes in the dry belt systems. From multiple V-belts, we're now down to a single serpentine belt in most applications. But during that transition, we experienced challenges with belt service, such as noise and vibration. This is where the overrunning alternator pulleys were developed to address these problems. They provided a basic solution for the accessory belt systems by decoupling the alternator during specific engine operational conditions. Now for the OAD, this is a very hefty device. This decoupler was introduced as far back as the late 90s and is more advanced. It plays a crucial role in eliminating vibration and abnormalities in the dry belt system and can do this because of a special internal torsional spring that provides a method for mitigating torsional vibrations coming from the crankshaft due to cylinder firing events. These vibrations cause tension spikes, which can contribute to NVH issues and reduce the life of the dry belt. By minimizing the tension variations, the OEDs work great for belt noise reduction and can extend the life of other dry belt components. When you replace an alternator, don't forget the pulley and always check and replace the pulley using like-for-like -like components to maintain the vehicle's reliability and performance. So whether it has an OAP or an OAD, you should know how to tell which one it has. So let's have a look. The first inspection item here visually would be to look for the presence of a rubber cap. 
Now, Lighten's OEDs use a rubber cap, while most OAPs use a plastic cap. And the OAPs are typically silver, while OEDs are black. Now, if the cap is off the front of this pulley, uh, one area to look is for the uh, light-colored bushing here. It might be a white or yellowish-looking bushing here, which is a clear indication that this is an OAD. Also, you may have the Lighten's uh, logo on the front, and the prefix here, uh, the part number is a 92, which would also be indicative of a OAD. Another run you can do on the car is that you see, so let me get this index point up so you can see this kind of index with that on the rotor. So you can see it start to spin there. So now these do require special service tools uh, to take these on and off the vehicle. Uh, and you can take one of the tools here that fits in the end and we can take a ratchet, okay, and we can find the, the one-way clutch, the freewheel part, okay. You can feel that, nice and smooth, all right. Reverse our ratchet, and we come back, and it, it locks, okay. But if it's an OAD, it has a spring, right? So we can hold the pulley, you can take the ratchet, and you can slightly move back off of that, that spring. So there's the dampening part of it. Okay, so just a couple more things to be aware of. And then Lightens has uh, provided us with this nice visualized uh, cutaway device. So we've got a section cut away. This is an OED, um, although I mentioned, you know, usually they're black. This is just for demonstrations. And so we can actually turn this. So there's our free running portion. Okay, and then we can turn it back. Now, extremely lightened spring in here so that we can demonstrate how that works. So I'm able to hold the pulley. I can turn up against that spring and it's super, super light. Uh, again, just for demonstration. Um, the, the unit I showed you earlier, of course, is real and you have a minimal amount of, of movement in that heavy spring. Uh, based off of you know, the vehicle uh, requirements. Next, we'll talk about the automatic tensioners and idlers, which help to provide proper belt grip under all conditions. Now, I know this is rare, but here in California, we have lots of hybrid vehicles, and there are some mild hybrids that utilize a special dry belt system that not only assists in delivering torque to the engine, but will also be used to generate energy to be placed back into the high voltage battery. As you can imagine, these dry belt systems are quite unique and may require special tools like this one during service. For others, tensioners and idlers utilize robust tension springs and other high quality materials to enhance alignment and longevity. These improvements reduce the need for additional friction reducing components, leading to more efficient and reliable dry belt systems. Now, why service these things as a package? Now, when you think about it, these components all work in concert with each other. And in many cases, the pulleys on these are plastic and can wear along with the belt. Replacing all components during service is a best practice that we follow in my facility. Oftentimes, we see belt replacements at around 80,000 miles. And our goal on any service is to restore the same service life or more for the client. Servicing the entire package provides confidence with our technicians and our clients. So as you can see, there's a lot more than meets the eye in regarding dry belt systems. And as mentioned earlier, Lighten's Aftermarket is focused on delivering the best quality products to the market so that your client's vehicles can have the best performance possible after receiving dry belt service. Now, I hope you found this video informative, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.